गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट एयर पॉल्यूशन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो एयर पॉल्यूशन इज द कंटामिनेशन ऑफ एयर ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ हार्मफुल सब्सटेंसेस इन द एटमॉस्फेयर सो इट इज जस्ट द कंटामिनेशन ऑफ एयर Now let's talk about some reasons some causes of air pollution. So first is burning of fossil fuels. So first of all what are fossil fuels? So coal petrol diesel So these are some fossil fuels since these are fuels obtained from fossils such as dead plants and animals so when we burn them they emit a large amount of sulfur dioxide one more thing is very important to mention here when we burn them they require oxygen to burn and release co2 so burning of fossil fuel it requires oxygen and then it emits co2 so co2 is not very lethal for us right it is not very lethal in fact it is beneficial for plants for their photosynthesis but sometimes due to the deficiency of oxygen they are not completely burned the state which is called incomplete combustion let me write it here incomplete combustion this incomplete combustion is very dangerous since it releases carbon monoxide instead of carbon dioxide right because oxygen was less so it produced co instead of co2 now this co or carbon monoxide this is very much toxic for us and this causes air pollution that means we can say that the incomplete combustion of fossil fuels may release carbon monoxide that is harmful for us next cause is automobiles so again the reason is same what i just mentioned now automobiles use petrol or diesel which are not burned completely always and they release co carbon monoxide next is agricultural activities the fertilizers insecticides and pesticides emit harmful chemicals such as ammonia in the atmosphere and cause air pollution air pollution is caused by the ammonia since ammonia is a very harmful chemical industries so industries emit a large amount of organic compounds such as hydrocarbons and different other chemicals such as uh, carbon monoxide uh, which contaminate the atmosphere next is mining activities in the mining process the minerals are extracted from the ground during this process huge amount of uh, dust and chemicals are released uh, which pollute the air so this also affects the health of the workers and people who live in the nearby areas next is domestic sources during the painting of a building the smell comes 
which contains toxic chemicals and it also contributes in air pollution. Let's talk about some effects of air pollution. So first is diseases. Now air pollution causes several respiratory diseases as well as heart diseases. It increases the prevalence of lung cancer. Even it causes death of many animals including human. Next is global warming. So there are some greenhouse gases such as CO2. which increase the overall temperature of earth. Now due to emission of greenhouse gases from automobiles, the temperature of earth is getting increased day by day, which is causing global warming. Next is acid rain. Okay. So the burning of fossil fuels releases harmful gases uh, such as sulfur oxide and nitrogen oxide these pollutants combine with water droplets. And uh, becomes acidic. And fall as acid rain. Acid rain is very much harmful for living organisms. Next is ozone layer depletion. So we have ozone layer in the stratosphere. Suppose this is the earth. Here we have ozone layer in the stratosphere. And this layer is mainly composed of ozone. So this ozone layer absorbs UV radiation that is coming from sun and this UV radiation is actually very much harmful for us. So when ozone layer absorbs it, this UV cannot reach us. Nowadays this ozone layer is getting broken down due to some compounds such as chlorofluorocarbons so chlorofluorocarbons degrades ozone layer if ozone layer gets degraded it won't be able to absorb uv and uv will reach us easily which is very much lethal for all living organisms. Next is control of air pollution. So first is reducing vehicle usage. We can avoid vehicles for shorter distances and preferring public transport is also a wise decision. Next is energy conservation. Electricity generation requires burning of a huge amount of fossil fuel Hence, one must switch off the electrical appliances when not in use. Energy efficient devices such as CFLs should be used to control air pollution. Next is fuel substitution. So compressed natural gas or CNG should be used instead of petrol and diesel since CNG burns more efficiently. Unlike petrol and diesel, very little of CNG is left unburned. So,
incomplete burning is less here so less co2 gets produced when we use cng next is tree plantation so planting trees is a great idea in order to reduce air pollution next is treatment plant in industries so thermal power plants and other industries release huge amount of gaseous air pollutants together with harmless gases such as nitrogen oxygen etc these pollutants must be filtered out before releasing the harmless gases into the atmosphere that's all about today's lecture